Hey, welcome to Renaissance Craft. This is just all of me. So it's just a clue in pulling pots. Okay, so to begin with, that's just centering it, getting it, doing the initial. So what you're going to do is you're going to brace your right hand up against your thigh and you're going to pull up with your left hand uh, thumb locked into your right hand. Now you're rounding off the edges. You're going to use your right index uh, knuckle and you're going to pull up at an even rate with your left middle finger or index finger and you're locking that thumb or your thumbs together and you're pulling up. Now you're rounding off. So once again, I, you know, your your body, right hand is, you know, acting in motion as a lever going up. My left hand is cocked in an upright position, and I'm just pulling up slowly, and then I adjust to get it into another motion, pulling at the equal measure, um, pulling up at equal intervals letting the revolution of the clay go around now here all you're doing is uh, collaring it a little bit and now you're once again using that right knuckle switching to the middle finger as I'm pressing out using my left middle finger to but at every interval you can see I'm either locking or adjusting my my hand to be a fluid motion I'm not erratic with any of my movements you just slowly so right now once again just watching that the left is pushing out a little bit as the right finger is guiding it and you're getting this and then kind of the opposite at the top to keep it collared in so once again all you're seeing the right hand is anchored into your thigh using my index finger uh, my index not my left middle finger to Put the equal and opposite pressure. I'm interlocking both my thumbs. Kind of my left thumb is in the between my index finger and thumb of my right hand, and it's just going into that little bit, locking in, and then I'm just pulling up. You can see how I'm either uh, on the outside inner or more uh, towards the end of the revolution. Uh, to the, the outside but every time if, if I want to push out I am taking that left middle and pushing out so if the inside hand the left hand is on the uh, lower part it's out a little bit and vice versa as you can see here the right uh, index finger knuckle is pushing slightly left and it's actually collaring it in just slightly or making it go up even. So once again, you see that anchor of my right elbow anchored on. My left hand is cocked straight up. And now that I'm getting too high, obviously, but I'm still keeping that, that hand a little flexed and then uh, pulling it up at an even rate. I round it off. Always round off the top. Make sure you round off that top. Now I collared it in, and where I collared it in, it gets a little bit thicker, so you got to do a little pull there too. But as you can see, that quick change again. So I pulled up, it went up evenly, and then I switched, and now I, you know, the right uh, index finger was just inside a little bit to push it in, um, or it was lower a little bit to push it in. Now, once again, that top part, uh, the actual left hand is a little bit lower right there than the right, and then I switch it, guide it with my right hand to go about. Um, it, it's all about getting used to. So, so the most important thing to remember is that if the left or inside hand and the right or outside hand, you're going to push the pot out. If the outside or right hand is lower than the left side or inside hand, it is going to collar it in or push it straight up. If they are even with equal pressure, it's the amount of pull up as well. Um, now, 
there's different things you can do, different ways you can do it. Uh, you know, the way you lock your hands, what, if you use your index finger, middle finger, your uh, you know, index uh, knuckle, if you use your middle knuckle, if you use your middle finger or index finger on the outside, you know, there, there's all different types of things. When, when you're watching me, you know, I'm doing several different things. I'm using uh, mainly on the inside my left uh, middle finger, and I'm locking my index finger behind it as well as my ring finger um, as you can see here I, I'm not doing either one of those I was just pulling up because it's a smaller piece just with my inner middle finger and then I'm using my right uh, index uh, knuckle to push and pull now I'm showing you once again uh, the collaring that you saw very fast you're using uh, your either your fingers and your thumb to collar it in to push it in to choke it um, or you're using your fat meaty parts of your or a piece you want to collar in even tighter um, and just guiding it with your fingers and pulling up remember it, it's a slow steady you're going fast but you're not going to. you want to use water but you don't want to use you just want to lubricate the entire uh, of clay you don't need to worry about you know you want it to, to dry halfway through and then pull the pot or throw the pot off. You just want to make sure the entire thing is lubricated. Um, it, it's almost like think of a uh, chainsaw or, or something, you know, where it needs to be evenly lubricated at all the time. You don't see it just dripping with it, you know, but it's evenly done and so it keeps it nice and smooth. Um, now what you're seeing here is you're just watching it faster and faster over and over again. Always clean the inside bottom to make it, but you're just doing those pulls, you know, just slow, steady, either pushing the clay in, pushing the clay out, or pulling it straight up. But every time, you know, as you can see from what I'm doing, it's the same motion over and over and over. You know, there's slight subtleties or, or depending on what shape or what I'm doing, variances, but for the most part, it's doing the same thing. If you collar it in, you need to pull just the part where you collared in to even out the clay again, you know. But every time, from start to finish, it's the same basic right hand as an anchor. The left hand is is doing other things to uh, either pull up, pull out, or shape it. But that that is your variance. Your right hand needs to be, or your outside hand, the anchor. Um, your initial first everything out but you know sometimes you want it thicker at the bottom sometimes you want it thinner at the bottom sometimes you need a thicker pot sometimes you need a thinner pot it, it all depends in style but either way your uh, the way you throw the way you piece should be very similar or the same do it repetition practice is one of the most important things um, so don't try to do something um, that's doing that you want to try out and it works for you or you can incorporate it into your own way but the way i'm throwing or the way you were taught to throw doesn't make either one of us wrong or either one of us right it's just the way we're taught and it works for us so if something i'm doing you see that that you like then you want to add that to your repertoire or something you see that i'm doing that you wonder why i'm doing it you know don't add it obviously um, unless what you're doing isn't working and then you might want to try what I'm doing or somebody else is doing but you know the, the most important thing to remember when centering or pulling is that your outside hand your your right hand you know that end of that revolution at the way the the wheels turning uh, in this case counterclockwise is your anchor is your, is your lever your other hand is your manipulator your guide your stretcher your your uh, uh, piece to, to manipulate the clay um, but you want to make sure you do it even and uniform all the way out that's very important unless you're trying to get an effect where you know you're trying to do something different but just keep it even like you see even when I stopped and paused and turned it's still I wait I make in the right position and then I pull up evenly at about the exact same thing as before so once again just I stop but then I start again but you can see every time I'm stopping, it's throwing off just a little bit. It's it's making it not perfect. Now there's ways, as you can kind of tell what I'm doing. There's ways that you can correct that.
So once again, guys, just pooling. That's all it was. I hope you enjoyed the video on Renaissance Craft. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. You know, I really enjoy uh, throwing. It's one of my passions amongst other things. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, leave some comments. Thank you very, very much.